Welcome back guys to another PvP build for the Waking Flame DLC. Back on my old school character, my Magicka DK. Let's get straight to the build. Front bar with the new proc set, Rotika, with an Inferno stuff. It's pretty damn strong, especially with this juicy skill here, Burning Talons. It can proc multiple targets with this AoE. Super powerful, you will see it in the gameplay footage. Then Mana Cut, a smithic item. And our back bar set is Dandric Trickery for Major Heroism, Major Protection, Major Manding, Major Vitality and Major Expedition. One of the strongest craftable sets out there with clever alchemists I would say. Pretty strong. And this monster set, of course Bloodspawn for the extra ulti region. But you can also go with the new one, Magma Incarnate or Balrog if you prefer. I'm using three heavy pieces with Hotgar. Then three light armor pieces for the extra penetration. And one medium for extra spell damage and the undaunted passive. Traits. Let me check. Five impen, one sturdy. Full infused on the jewelry with spell damage. We don't really need sustain here. Front bar a sharpened inferno stuff with the berserker glyph. You could also go with two maces or two swords if you prefer. But I like the inferno stuff for the um, heavy attacks. If I have sustain issues, I can just heavy attack with the inferno stuff to gain magicka back. On the back bar, sword and bot powered and sturdy. With the escape is poisons. If you prefer Restro, go for it. Quick look on the skills. Front bar engulfing flames. Then burning talons to proc Hotka to proc it AoE. And flame lash as spammable. Fossilize also procs Hotka. Empowering chains. That's my flex spot. You can also go with um, inner light here. But I prefer those juicy chains, especially against those Magicka, Sorcerer, or Streaker. Then leap on the front bar, back bar degeneration for the major sorcery buff, elusive mist, our snare removable, hardened armor. You can also go for the other morph. Then dragon blood. It's super super strong. Sometimes heals me for 20k plus especially with trickery. If you have manding and vitality up. Really nice. Potterize also super strong here. And corrosive armor. They change corrosive. We gain physical and spell penetration. So you will have max penetration with direct damage skills like burning tenants and flame lash and also leap of course race i'm dark elf for extra max stamina and spell damage high elf or nord imperial are fine too as mundus the atronach mundus for sustain vamp stage one we can also go for vamp stage two or three let me check. 3 is for this juicy passive here. Reduce your damage taken by up to 30% based on your missing health. But I would have sustain issues. I would have to go with one Magicka cost reduction. That's why I'm just uh, stage 1. Then buff food. Clockwork Citrus Filet for extra sustain. Potions. I mainly use the tricep potions. Or sometimes even detection potions. Or the CC potions with health magicka and CC immunity. Quick look on the CPs. Biting Aura, Mastered Arms, Dulus Rebuff and Resilience. You can put out Resilience for the new one, Ironclad. It's basically the same to be honest. Then Red CPs, Stain Pass Suffering, Slippery, Pain's Refuge and Celerity. There is not really a big PvP combination, just use corrosive armor and if you have multiple targets on you, spam talents and that's basically it to be honest. You can also go with engulfing before to empower talents but not really needed, they will explode anyway. Now with some small scale PvP footage with a Magicka DK and my small scale mates, 
If you like this content guys, don't forget to sub my channel. Still over 80% are still not subbed. Do me the favor and support my work. I put a lot of time in this build. Trust me guys, would be nice. I would really appreciate it. Now enjoy the footage. That's it, with another PvP build, next one will be probably a gank build again with my stamina knife blade. I'm still testing some stuff so I don't know, maybe tomorrow or in two days I will upload it. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next one, ciao!